Hi everyone, my name is Anna. I'm part of the Emerging Destinations team and today I want to share with you one of my travel memories uh, working with Emerging Destinations. Um, I want to share with you my experience uh, doing the famous lake crossing over the Andes Mountains. This happened last year when I took a flight from Buenos Aires to Bariloche. So before starting my trip to Bariloche, I had to decide between doing the lake crossing just in one day, leaving Bariloche early in the morning and arriving to Puerto Varas late in the afternoon, or divide that journey in two days and overnight in the national park. So this was my decision. I decided to split the journey in two days and take my time to enjoy the nature. And to tell you the truth, this is the best decision you can really make during this trip. After sailing two hours along the Nahuel Huapi Lake, we arrived to Puerto Bles, which was our first stop and the place where I decided to overnight. There's uh, only one hotel and there's nothing else in the area, so it's really very secluded. I had lunch there and after lunch, I decided to do a soft trekking along the Valdivian rainforest. Um, and at the end of this trekking, we arrived to the Cantaros waterfall, uh, where you can admire the different colors from green to blue, um, the different colors also from the trees. I went there in autumn, so the, the, the foliage is really uh, beautiful and ideal for photographers because every corner has it's like a painting and you can take really beautiful and amazing uh, pictures. The following day, we continue our trip to Puerto Varas and we continue crossing the Andes. And also a very beautiful place is when you, when you cross the border because this border is exclusive for the people that are doing the lake crossing. So again, it's very remote, very secluded and also very VIP because you are just the only one doing customs and you are crossing from one national park to the other national park on the Chilean side. And the border is just crossing one tree from the other tree. This is a sort of a natural border. So it's really very unique. So this was really a very special trip for me. It was my first trip with Emerging Destinations. I love Patagonia. I love Bariloche. Um, so um, I have really very nice memories uh, doing the lake crossing and going to Bariloche. If you have uh, extra time, I highly recommend you to spend some extra days in Bariloche before starting the lake crossing. Bariloche is the biggest ski resort in South America. So if you are going in winter from June to September, you can take advantage of this and go to, to ski to Cerro Catedral in Bariloche. Um, and also don't forget to, to bring some things on your suitcase. For example, you will need your hat because it's really cold and windy. So don't forget your hat, your sunglasses, because you will need it. And if you are doing overnight on Hotel Puerto Bles, as I did, don't forget your swimwear because there's a, an indoor headed swimming pool facing the mountain. So after your trekking, you can swim in the indoor headed swimming pool. And I highly recommend you to taste this uh, beer, which is Patagonia. It's from Bariloche and it's delicious. And my favorite one is Mamushka. This is um, a chocolate company that make, I don't know, they made the best chocolates that you can taste ever. So I hope you enjoy your trip and my advice is are useful for you.